taken a nap, I've had my dinner, I'm just about to wash my makeup off, unwind, relax because it's been a long day. It's been a long, long day. But anyways guys, it's official, we've moved out of Sky Nest. I am so happy, alhamdulillah. You know how stressed out I was the day before the move, but then in hindsight, looking back at it, I'm like, I had absolutely nothing to worry about because I was in great, great hands. So before coming to Kenya, I was shopping around for a good moving company and some of the quotes I got were so ridiculous and some of these companies even said that the whole moving process takes six hours. It shouldn't take that long. All I wanted was a company that's quick and affordable and because moving in general is just so stressful, it's so important to work with a reliable company and that's when I came across Space Move on Instagram. They offered me an amazing quote, the cheapest out of all of them, and then they said that they can complete the whole job between two to three hours. From start to finish, the team at Space Move have been absolutely amazing. They're so professional, so friendly, and just incredibly efficient. They said they'll be outside my house 8.30. These guys were at my doorstep at 8.30 on the dots. And that's very rare here in Kenya. No offense. One thing I really loved about Space Move was the way they handled all my belongings with care. They carefully labeled everything. At one point, while we're outside the storage place, I lost, I realized that I lost my headphones and my padlock. 
These guys knew exactly what box he was in and that was like so impressive. Cause I thought I lost it. I was like, girl, I'm about to travel. I have no headphones, mm. but he found it. So if you're in need of a moving company that provides great service, it's reliable, affordable, and just super professional, then you should definitely hit up Space Move. These guys are amazing at what they do. Like I honestly cannot recommend them enough. So hit them up. All the details will be down below. So what's next? I don't know when I'm gonna come back to Kenya. My plan, inshallah, is there's no pressure at this point. You know what I mean? Like I don't feel pressure to come back because I have an apartment here now. So there's nothing tying me here, but for sure, Kenya is home. I'm coming back to Kenya, guys, 100%. But this time around, when I do come back, it's just difficult to stay put and not go back and see family. Anyway, I'm super excited for what's to come. Um, in terms of apartment hunting, that's the most tedious thing ever. Like, it's so jarring. Like, at this point, I feel like I've seen every apartment here in Kenya, and I'm like, you know what's more difficult is finding the perfect apartment. I'm really starting to deep that finding a perfect apartment doesn't exist. Unless you're like, super rich. But, you know, you go and get money like that. So, I don't know. Kinda want a house. Not an apartment. Am I ready for a house though? I don't know. Anywho, for now, what we're gonna be doing is focus on the present. Uh, oh, I don't wanna tell you guys where I'm going though. You'll see anyway, but I'm gonna be there for a long time. Like nearly a month. The other side of the world. I'm excited. Um, yeah. I don't wanna to vlog too much though while I'm there because not that I want to take a break, but I just like being in the moment as well. And I'm going with my best friend, so I don't want to make it uncomfortable for anyone. You know what I mean? So it should be fun. Can't wait to show you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. And yes, before I forget, comment, like, and subscribe. The skies are just looking so gray. It's the next day. I'm about to run to Zoe Center. I left it too late. It's like nearly six o'clock. It's about to rain. I really hope it doesn't rain because I cannot mess up my hair. This is where I usually go if I can't go to my normal lady. So, too bad guys. They've just closed. I don't know why the hell I decided to come here at this time, but it's fine. I'm still here tomorrow morning, so they open at 10. I'll go there in the morning. I need to go to the textbook shop. guys it's the next day i woke up nice and early today i've had my breakfast now i'm gonna run to the soda center get a wax because i couldn't get that done yesterday and then come back home well not home i don't have a home anymore but you know what i mean just come back here and then go to my family's place because i was meant to do that yesterday as well um but it's like pouring rain and i just couldn't be bothered so i'm gonna do that real quick today and then come back here chill for a little bit and then get going to the airport. But today's journey is not gonna to be too bad. It's only two hours to Addis, so I should be fine. So yeah, let's get going.
expressway, yeah? Yes, expressway. Oh, guys, we are about to leave Kenya. I'm running so late. I had to be at the airport at 4 o'clock. You want to know but what time it is? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's my fault. My fault. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. fault. it's my fault. Even then I called you. you. I know, I know, I know. I was just running in circles. It's 4.30. Yeah, yeah, it's just very fast. Yeah. I haven't cleaned my house. Jane, that's my cleaner. She's going to come. She's going to go there tomorrow, actually. Clean everything. I had a sofa outside. She can take that. Stadium. Yeah, mm -hmm. You have cash? 410? Or oh, I guess you should just prompt me. No, it's fine, it's fine. Um tell her to prompt me. Oh perfect. One hour to Naibasha? Yes. How fast do you drive? <laughs> <laughs> and you've had no accidents. <laughs> Naivasha is two hours away. It's two hours away. No, not two hours. Two hours in Nakuru. You know Nakuru? Nakuru is four hours. No, with this car, when there is no traffic, two hours I'm in Nakuru. One hour. No worries. outside but I'm gonna go grab some dinner now even though I'm not even hungry because they fed us on that one and a half hour flight um but you know I'm greedy so I'm gonna go downstairs and see what they have good morning guys so it's the next day I've already had breakfast I've already taken a shower I'm just about to do my hair I'm not really gonna do anything to my hair to be honest happy that I brought some extra clothes with me and all my well most of my toiletry so that's good nice and freshened up so I have to be downstairs in 15 minutes and I feel surprisingly well rested So good. Off we go. I will probably pick you guys up when I'm back home. Thank you. I want to show you guys around. This looks really nice. It really reminds me of Nairobi. Oh, 
such a smooth journey and we're about to board in 45 minutes so I guess what I brought with me let's make sure you guys okay so at the moment I have an obsession you know me and my obsessive nature so I'm obsessed with these passion fruit like these yellow ones if you haven't tried these you have to mm. I wish I brought more with me It's so good. Mm. I hope it doesn't make me go to the toilet though. It looks like this on the inside. So guys, it's the next day. I went straight home, didn't even unpack. I put hair mask on and then this morning I washed it off and blow dried my hair. My sister took a few micro links out of my hair because they were bothering me because it was so visible. I wanted to unbox because there's a few things that I've ordered that have been delivered now. It's quite a lot, so let's go through it one by one. So I'm going to start off with the TikTok shop. So this is the first thing that I got. It's the Famous Light on TikTok. So you attach it to your phone. I'll demonstrate for you guys, just like this. And then it has three different lights. This is really bright. So this is the mixture of the two. This is the neutral plus the warm light. This is the neutral light. And then here we have the warm light. It's super bright. Oh, it looks amazing. I think I might actually attach it to my camera. Let's see how that works. We're just gonna leave it there. And then next I got these little suctions. So with these little suctions, they look like that. You attach it to the back of your phone. It comes with three different colors. I'm probably gonna use the black one. And then you just attach it to the back of your phone like this. And then with this, you can attach this then to a mirror or whatever. So next we have a package from Ali Grace. I'm not going to unpack it, but it comes with a 22 inch straight closure. Kind of annoyed because I already have micro links on, so I don't know how that's going to work. But nonetheless, let's start with the Sheen order because I got so much stuff from Sheen. First thing first, this little bag. How cute is it? I think this is perfect for the little trip that I'm going on. You can't really put anything in there. I don't even think my phone will fit in here. But it's fine. Yeah. Does that work? by force my phone barely it's not a very practical bag but it just looks super adorable i love it and it feels so soft next we got i'm gonna rush through this guys because i still have to go to the high school with my mom and it's getting really late i'm gonna show you guys bathing suits but i got a few bathing suits so let's close that up so then we have a lounge set so I already have this one in nude so I got it in black because it's super comfortable it comes with these trousers and then this top I also got this scarf so the first thing we have is another scarf what is this? oh these workout shorts and I got this in a size X and I've already tried this one on so it fits but I got this workout set it comes with this t-shirt and then these leggings I got this ankle bracelet some socks oh yeah size L because I want it oversized. It has this text on the back. I'm not going to read it because I have no time. 
Then we got some more socks. We've got these sandals. I want to see the holiday clothes because all I'm seeing is socks, hoodies, workout stuff, more workout stuff. We've got another workout shorts. Oh, this is cute. It's a dress. It's pretty long, actually. And I got this in a size S. It's like a three piece bikini, comes with a cover up. I have no idea if any of this is going to fit me. Just basic jam shorts. Another workout t-shirt. Oh, this is a cover-up. Cover-up dress. It's really long. Neutral brown colour. What size is this? Size S. I don't know why they all look so massive. Oh, oh well. Workout leggings. Oh, this is nice. An oh, oversized t-shirt. Oh, and a size medium, but they come the oversized. Material is so nice. And I feel like a lot is gonna fit in here, so I love that. Then we have another cover up. Also a neutral colour. I just hope that they fit, honestly. Grey joggers, you know, I love me some grey joggers. More socks. The bracelet looks so cool. And then I got some rings. And then these earrings. Okay. They look like this. One. God. More workout clothes. I really hope that the tops are going to fit me because I got them all in a size medium. Finally, we have a dress. This is a size medium. Oh yeah. Can I sing too? The material is nice. We got this cropped shirt. Oh yeah. You can already tell that's going to be see-through. Workout shorts. I didn't know all of that many shorts. Okay, we have another dress. Oh yeah, I was excited about this one. I just love the colour. That's the colour in the material. I believe that I got this. I want to say in M. Oh, I got this in an S. Oh gosh, yes, this is so adorable. And the material is so nice because you know how with sheen bags they can be very flimsy. Oh, this is adorable. Another cover up. See the vibe? It's just bikinis and cover ups. And then workout clothes. Okay. And I got some more rings. So guys, that was the end of the haul. I'm gonna try everything on. Hopefully they fit. If they don't, then I'm gonna run to the post office today. Because I want me back for at least a month. And then usually only have a few weeks to return everything. So let's do that. And then I'll speak to you guys um, probably later. But I'm on my way to 
the high street now with my mom. I'm gonna go grab some lunch because I'm starving.